Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the U.S. 1792 at Enterprise Road Intersection Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Martina Paradise, and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain plans to improve safety at the intersection. We encourage your input, and there are many ways to provide feedback. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For those listening to the meeting over the phone, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-235-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash p-r-o-j-e-c-t forward slash 449-235-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, mail station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Orange City in Volusia County. The intersection improvements are proposed at US 1792 or South Volusia Avenue and Enterprise Road. The purpose of this project is to help reduce the number and severity of crashes, creating a safer intersection for both drivers and pedestrians. The proposed changes come from a 2020 FDOT intersection safety study. It found that from 2013 to 2019, there were 59 crashes at or around this intersection. One of those crashes resulted in a fatality. Two crashes involved pedestrians and one involved a bicyclist. Currently, there is a free flow right turn lane on westbound Enterprise Road to northbound US 1792 and one lane that allows you to go straight through the intersection or make a left onto southbound US 1792. There are two driveways on Enterprise Road to the Hungry Howie's parking area and shopping center. The project proposes replacing the free flow right turn lane with two right turn lanes from Enterprise Road to northbound US 1792 that are under signalized control. The change requires closing one of the driveways at Hungry Howie's. The project will also upgrade the crosswalk on the north side of the intersection and add a new crosswalk to the south, 
both crosswalks will have new pedestrian refuge areas within the median for those crossing US 1792. The project also proposes to construct a new designated right turn lane into the shopping center. It's located just north of the US 1792 Enterprise Road intersection. A new sidewalk will also be included on the northeast side of the intersection. Other proposed improvements include reconstructing and upgrading the traffic and pedestrian signals at the intersection, enhancing intersection lighting, and necessary drainage modifications. Additionally, pedestrian curb ramps will be upgraded to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Design is underway on this project and is expected to be complete in late 2024 at an estimated cost of $556,000. All work will be done within the right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in early 2025 at an estimated cost of $1.6 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by November 6th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-235-1. You may also contact FDOT project manager Martina Paradise directly by email at martina.paradise at dot.state.fl.us that's M-A-R-T-I-N-A dot P-A-R-A-D-Y-S-Z at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call Ms. Paradise at 386 943-5466 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 449-235-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by November 6, 2023. Have a good evening.